The 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 magic can capture students' attention. So we can capitalize on students' curiosity and help them learn some math. We can use this magic to help students develop good thinking habits and reinforce some foundational math concepts. To accomplish these learning objectives, we need to challenge students to figure out why the magic works. Provide ample time for them to explore. Ask them to present their ideas on how the magic works. And orchestrate the whole class discussion. Making thinking habits explicit and highlighting related math concepts. To figure out how the magic works, most students will need to look for patterns. Let students experience the importance of collecting data. If students did not write down the number pairs during the magic activity, ask them to recall the numbers that were used in the activity. It is important for students to experience the power of using a table to organize data. To look for patterns, students can test other numbers like 18 and 22 and 24 to notice the relationship between the two sets of numbers. An increase of two units in the final answer will result in an increase of one unit in the secret number. This might lead students to think of the idea of halving. To create the secret number, in addition to dividing by two, we need one more step of subtracting five. Hence, the trick is to divide the final answer by two and then minus five. If students come up with two methods, then we can ask them whether we can have two methods. If so, challenge them to justify why the two methods are essentially the same. Now, this is a good opportunity for us to help students see the power of algebra. We can use a variable say y to represent the final answer. The algebraic expression for method A is y minus 10 and divide the difference by 2. The algebraic expression for method B is y divided by 2 and then minus 5. We can use the distributive property to show the left expression is essentially equivalent to the right expression. Another good habit is to draw pictures. Here we can use diagram to represent the six steps in the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 magic. Each operation in the six steps is represented by a box which can be interpreted as a function. Let's take this opportunity to review some of the math concepts that this magic activity can foster. Since different students have different secret numbers, we can use a variable, say the letter x, to represent all possible secret numbers. In fact, the use of a variable to represent any numbers is a foundational concept in algebra. Operating on a number gives us a new number. Operating on the variable, on the other hand, gives us an expression. It is important to know that an expression has two meanings, a process and a result. For example, the expression x plus 5 simultaneously represents the process of adding 5 to x, as well as the result, which is the sum of x and 5. A function is a process that takes an input, does something to it, and generates an output. Hence, a function has three components, an input, a rule, and an output. When two functions are connected sequentially, such that the output of one function becomes the input of another function, we can replace the two sequential functions by just one function, called the composite function. We can concatenate a third function and represent the three functions by a single composite function. Concatenating multiple functions can reinforce students' understanding of composite functions. Here, we can see that the six functions executed in sequence can be represented by a single composite function. The complicated looking expression for the composite functions actually contains all the six steps. Students learn a lot of rules for simplifying expressions in algebra. Here, they can see the need for simplifying expressions. The complex looking expression that involves six steps can be simplified into a linear function that involves only two steps. We can take this opportunity to point out that 
An equation shows how two variables are related. Here, the final answer y is related to the secret number x by multiplying x by 2 and then adding 10. We can also say that the final answer y is a function of the secret number x. The function rule is simply times 2 and add 10. To find the secret number from the final answer requires us to work backwards. This idea leads naturally to the concept of inverse function. This magic activity allows students to see inverse function as a process that undoes the original function. If we double the secret number and add 10 to obtain the final answer, then to find the secret number, we undo the process by subtracting the final answer by 10 and then divide by 2. The inverse function is therefore minus 10 divided by 2. In summary, this magic activity can be used to highlight key concepts like variables, expressions, simplifying expressions, equations, functions, composite functions, and inverse functions. As mentioned earlier, this magic can foster good thinking habits like looking for patterns, using a table, comparing and establishing equivalence, using algebra, and drawing pictures. Let me highlight a few more good thinking habits that may be fostered by this 54321 magic. Making connections is an extremely valuable habit of mine. Whenever students suggest an idea, we should try to deepen their understanding by helping them make connections between ideas. For example, after seeing how we can find an inverse function by solving 4x in terms of y, a student may suggest another way, interchanging x and y, and then solving for y. We can help students see the connections between these two techniques and resolve any confusion. Interchanging x and y is only a procedural technique and the equation y equals x minus 10 divided by 2 does not make sense because the final answer y is not equal to the secret number minus 10 divided by 2. In the context of the magic activity, we should not interchange x and y because once we assign the letter to represent something, we must not use the letter to represent something else. After seeing how we use algebra to explain why the magic works, we can highlight the importance to think why it works for any numbers, which is a more convincing justification than why it works for specific numbers. Thinking with generality in mind is a good mathematical habit of mind. We can also point out that in math, we are always trying to do things efficiently. Simplifying expression is a means to transform a complicated looking function which involves six steps to a simpler function which involves only two steps. In the 54321 magic, students think of a secret number and arrive at the final answer. The intriguing part of the magic involves how we can spontaneously figure out the secret number from the final answer. This puzzle requires students to think in the opposite direction. Thinking about reversibility is an important mathematical habit of mind. The seeking efficiency habit of mind allows students to reduce the six steps into two steps. And the thinking about reversibility habit of mind allow students to obtain the inverse function, minus 10 divided by 2. In conclusion, this presentation highlights how the activity can foster these mathematical habits of mind and also these foundational concepts in algebra. May your student enjoy this 54321 magic activity, improve their thinking habits, and deepen their mathematical understanding.